Hi everyone, this is Jamie with CCM and I am here today with the group After Grace and I am with Cody Clark and Jared Moffat. Hi guys, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? How are you? I'm doing well. What have y'all been doing during all of the shelter in place and not being allowed to go out on tour? Um, I guess about what everybody else has been doing, just having a lot of good family time um, and just collaboration and, and working on things. Uh, just Jared and myself doing a lot of, you know, behind the scenes type work with new music and new songs and figuring out plans um, like most artists have been doing right now. But uh, it's been good to uh, to see the, the blessings during all this with being able to hang out with our family more and not have as much of the craziness uh, going on, you know, with the outside world like it usually is. Yeah. So y'all have opened for some pretty impressive acts. Toby Mack, Building 429, Colton Dixon, and a whole lot more. Um, what have you gained from that? Um, that um, we're just super blessed to, to be able to do what we do and, and have the opportunities to meet the people that we, um, that we have met and played with, you know, uh, just to, some of those names that you mentioned. Uh, we've just been blessed to kind of see the – uh, the behind the scenes version of some of these guys and gals and, and, uh, and kind of get their, get their heart and share, share their heart. Um, it, it's, it's just been, it's really humbling as well because, you know, Cody and I, well, some of the people that we, we've gotten the opportunity and privilege to share the stage with, you know, we kind of grew up listening to as teenagers, um, you know, and so it's just been like a, like a humbling experience to really see God's blessings uh, r really just come to fruition and just kind of show up in your lives when you're, you know, playing with, uh, with Bowdoin 429, listening to them sing some of the songs that you used to listen to in your bedroom when you were like 13 or 14, you know, um, and then you're sharing the stage with them and your tour bus with them and things like that. So um, for us, it's, it's just been, uh, it's been an awesome experience, awesome ride, one that we're really blessed to be a part of. So, Cody, you just co-wrote your new single called Simple Things. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, the song started um, a few years ago, mm -hmm. um, actually, is, is where the premise of the song started. Um, I had written a complete version of the song then, um, but we never, it was more of a personal testament for me and kind of just a personal song for me. Um, but as time has went on, you know, we we really felt the message of the song. There was a lot to share with people, mm -hmm. um, kind of like, you know, how the word of God tells us there's power in our testimony and, and sharing what what God does in our life with others to try to reach them where they are and relate to them in that way. Um, and so we were like, you know, we we really feel like this song can can be a blessing to people. So when we were getting ready to do some new music. Um, we brought it up with the producers and everything. And they were like, we had a few options and everybody was like, let's do simple things. And that would have happened. And before that, I, I took the song to Nashville and had a writing session with Daniel Doss, awesome guy, great friend. Um, and we worked on the song and he was like, man, I, I think we should, we should do this one. Let's, let's get it done. So we tweaked some of it to, just just help the song become better and share the message better and um it it ended up just being more than we uh than we envisioned and hoped i remember when i left the songwriting session with daniel um we we did the uh the work tape of it and we listened back to make sure everything was good if we wanted to tweak anything else and i remember listening to it and i just started crying um in the studio with daniel and i was like man i'm sorry i'm crying right now but this just it just meant so much to me because it's a personal piece of my heart, you know, and it was awesome. And then when we got back and Jared listened to it and Jared felt the same way and then everybody was on board with it and started working on it earlier this year and, and finally got to release it. So we're just, we're excited about um, the song releasing and people being able, able to hear the message behind it. And what do you want the listener to take away from this song? I think, I think the main thing is just, having the being able to understand that we all have something to be thankful for. You know, I know sometimes life doesn't throw us 
uh, the perfect pitch that we can knock out of the park. And we don't, sometimes we strike out and we don't feel that way. But I know if we put God first in our hearts and let him help us prioritize and lead us and guide us and direct us with where we go, we will find the beauty in the things that we have around us. And, and it can be small things like any waking up and be like, you know what? I have a job. I'm thankful that I get to go to work and be able to pay my bills. I have a car I can get from place to place. I have food in my refrigerator. Um, I have a family who loves me. I have children, whatever it is in any of those things. Um, just the simple things in life that sometimes we, uh, we take for granted and we, we don't prioritize those like we should a lot of times because we get so caught up trying to please other people or please the pride within ourselves of maybe trying to go get to new heights with our career or personally with whatever it is, you know, any of those situations. But the, the premise of this song is just to, to honor and cherish what we have and what God's blessed us with and not to let a moment pass us by because those moments only come by once, you know, every day is a second chance. Every breath is a second chance. And, and we don't want to, we just want to encourage people to cherish those times and not to forget about those and not sweep them under the rug and understand how important they truly are. Because when it all comes down to it, when our life comes to an end, you know, what legacy are we leaving behind? And, and we want to, Jared and I both want to leave a legacy where people saw Jesus in us and where we instill things into our, our families and our children that they can go out and share the gospel and just be good people to those around them, you know, and be a helping hand. That's, that's really where the song kind of goes and encompasses. And you put out an absolutely beautiful video um, with the song. What was it like filming where you grew up and having your family very involved? That was, that was really special. Um, when we got with our video guy, uh, Joel Burris and attention to detail media, um, we really wanted to make sure that in the video, it was more than just, Hey, it's a cool music video, right? You know, we, we wanted the video to have a message as well. And I think, a lot of people may not know if they watch it without having reading any of the articles or anything about it, but it was neat to be able to, from how the song goes to really share that in sort of a real time way um, with being at my dad's church, my dad's a pastor, being able to go to his church, film at his service, um, have lunch with all of our family. Jared and I are, are brother-in-laws, so we're family as well. And being able to do that with our family, then being able to go to my grandparents' house and film uh, my grandfather um, in that moment for the video, and then being able to shoot in different places that I went as a child. You know, my grandpa and grandma, we would go to that bridge sometimes where it's the bridge shots on the video, and all of the outdoor shots were either in that area or in the town of Marshall, Arkansas, where I grew up, and Jared grew up a lot of his life as well. Um, and I think it was just cool to be able to real time play the lyrics and the message behind it with that. And I know Jared could probably shed some light on that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, kind of the whole, the whole theme and feel for the video really tries to go hand in hand. For, you know, we're trying to sing it and shout out there, uh, especially in a chaotic time uh, that, that we're kind of in right now in our world you know, um, trying to shine some light on just the simple things and, and shifting our focus there. And that's why, you know, so much of the, of the, the video is, you know, around a dinner table. It's uh, out on a hillside, you know, with uh, some cows in the background. You know, it's on this old swinging bridge that was established like, you know, a century ago, you know, just different things like that. Just, um, you know, just to try to encompass um, the message and meaning behind the song. And yeah, it, it was, you know, super special being able to, spend the days filming with family and friends and, and familiar locations and, you know, areas that uh, mean a lot to Cody and I as, as, you know, we were kids growing up and teenagers growing up. So, um, you know, there's just, there's a lot of heart. There's a lot of skin on this song for us. You know, it, it, it has a lot of value and weight uh, and it's something that we're just, you know, super proud of. Yeah. So what's next for the two of you? What's, what's next on the horizon for after grace? Uh, we're just, 
we're just going to keep working. Um, we've got some, some new songs that we're working on as well. Um, still figuring out with everything going on, you know, when we're going to, when we're going to try to get things going, release another one or two or, or however that's going to work. We're still not exactly sure. And then just trying to, you know, find ways to be creative to, to still be able to, to go play or to do things virtually. We've done a couple of virtual concerts and those have been great. And we did a virtual worship night, which was awesome as well. Just being creative and uh, figuring out um, ways to uh, just be able to minister to people. Cause, cause before anything else, we love to go jam in front of thousands of people. Yes, it's a lot of fun and we enjoy it. But first and foremost for us is we want to just share the love of Christ every time we step foot on stage, whether there's 10 people there or 10,000 10, people there, we want to share the love of Jesus with each and every person we encounter. And so we just want to be faithful and, and have God lead us and guide us and however he wants us to, uh, to operate during this time. And we're just kind of going with that and, and just working and grinding behind the scenes to, uh, to be able to continue that. Gentlemen, as we wrap up our interview, is there a message of hope that you would like to leave for our viewers? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, a, a message of hope is that we would love to, to share with our viewers um, is just a reminder that this world is not our home. You know, and, and, and while, you know, there's certainly so many things that are, that are worth our time and our energy and our effort um, here while we're, you know, we're on this earth, um, uh, we have to keep in mind that, you know, our, our perspective has to be kingdomly, right? It has to be heavenly. And so um, just to be careful, not that we're storing up so many treasures here on this earth, when we should be, should be storing treasures up in heaven. And uh, we, we got to share the stage with a, a good friend of ours. His name was Stephen McWhorter last Wednesday night doing a, a worship night together. And um, and he, he said something that stuck with me and I'll share it with, with, our, with our viewers as well. He said, in a moment, in an instant, um, all that we know our entire lives will be over, you know, and, and we'll be, we'll be face to face with Jesus. And he said, everything that we did on this earth, everything that we consumed our lives with, that we consumed our time with our energy and our effort with everything that we did that was not about Jesus would be a waste. It would be an absolute waste. And so for us, it was just like, you know, that con that reminder of that gut check to like, Make sure that your heart's in the right spot. Make sure we understand how blessed we are to be alive today and that, you know, in Christ, um, he has such, uh, such a purpose and a destiny for us. Um, and that's what Cody and I are trying to do through After Grace is, is we're, trying to, uh, we're trying to bring that ministry um, to, to so many people and, and bring that encouragement and that hope to so many people. Um, so uh, per just keep your perspectives uh, right. Remember what's important and what's not important. And, uh, and going back to the songs, remember, it's the simple things. Gentlemen, thank you so much. And viewers, please make sure you go download and listen, stream, simple things from After Grace. Guys, I can't wait to see what happens next for you. Thank you so much, Jamie. Absolutely. Yes, thank you.